Hello everybody, I'm Dylan and today we're going to take a look at Young Hunter, a film from Argentina with English subtitles. It was released in 2020, so it's not a very old film. It was written and directed by Marco Berger. That's Berger, not Berger. It was produced by Daniel Chokron and distributed by TLA Releasing in North America and Optimal in France. So Young Hunter starts with 15-year-old Ezekiel, played by Juan Pablo Cestaro. Ezekiel is home alone for a month, his family having gone on vacation. He's a closeted gay teenager, horny, and attempts to find a sexual encounter. He eyes a guy in the bathroom, doesn't work, has a proposal for a friend at his house, doesn't work. Eventually he goes to a skate park to watch guys skateboard and makes eye contact with Mono, a skateboarder a couple of years older than him, played by Lotaro Rodriguez. So the boys start spending time together, discuss, and presumably have sex. Mono eventually introduces Ezekiel to Chino, an older cousin of Mono. As a viewer, we feel bad vibes coming from Mono and Chino. Mono seems absent-minded at times, gazing elsewhere, and we can sense that something is off with him. Ezekiel seems happy and doesn't seem aware of these subtleties. So him and Mono stay at Chino's place for a night, with Chino supposedly gone to his girlfriend's. Mono initiates a sexual liaison with Ezekiel. The next few days, however, Mono has seemingly disappeared, with Ezekiel realizing he's been ghosted. He befriends Juan, another gay kid a year or two younger than him. Soon after, Ezekiel receives a text from Chino, Mono's cousin, along with a video of his sexual encounter with Mono. This is where the film takes a very dark turn. Our protagonist realizes he's caught in a sort of sexploitation video porn ring, where his video will be sold on the internet's dark web. He is forced to find another boy to continue this cycle. Against his better judgment, he considers Juan, the younger gay friend he's met. Ezekiel eventually bumps into Mono, punches him in the face, then they hug each other because it is evident that Mono was a pawn in this scheme as well. I won't spoil how it all ends. So Young Hunter is definitely a good film, but it's not an enjoyable watch, if that makes any sense. The idea of an innocent closeted gay teenager trapped in a situation like this is very heartbreaking, and it is a difficult subject that people would rather not even think about. It's definitely an uncomfortable movie, but the subject matter really is handled delicately and tastefully by director Marco Berger. This subject matter is very difficult to put on screen, and Marco Berger does a great job here. There's nothing really unethical that is shown on screen to the viewer, it's just the premise itself that's disturbing. What starts off as innocent teenage hijinks and possibly the beginning of a young love affair soon turns to a very serious, mature dilemma for a protagonist. The film isn't melodramatic, you don't see any tears running across the face or any big blowout scenes, except for Mono being punched. But the characters get more quiet, pensive, confused, and trying to decide what to do next. This subtlety has come back a few times in the films I reviewed, such as in the Gus Van Sant films Elephant in Paranoid Park, and even The Last Day. But, like I said, this tough subject matter is well handled, nothing will turn your stomach here. A lot of people have complained about the ending. It's true that when the movie ends, you want to see more, you want to see what happens next. We can only speculate, but in my opinion, it's a good ending, though bittersweet. Ezekiel makes a decision and we're left to speculate what happens next. As for the themes, when I reviewed Sideline Secrets, I actually mentioned that Young Hunter has very similar themes. They're not exactly the same, of course, but very similar. It's interesting how two different films can have the same themes, but be very different in styles, atmosphere, and execution. The film starts off with a gay teen romance. Ezekiel meets Mono, they spend time together, and it seems like a blossoming romance. We don't know how much of that is exactly true for Mono, who was forced to bring a young guy for Chino's purposes. It was mostly an illusion, smoke and mirrors, that Ezekiel had the misfortune of falling into. I kinda wish Manu and Ezekiel had more of a conversation over the matter, but I guess in such an uncomfortable situation they don't really know what to say. The other theme is sexploitation and blackmail. Obviously learning that a private video of you was taken and will be shared on the internet without your permission or output is disturbing, especially for somebody underage like Ezekiel. Even worse, he is forced to continue this chain. It's obvious there's blackmail involved, although the film doesn't really specify the terms of the blackmail. Ezekiel gets a text from Chino and a private video of him, then he asks to meet him. Chino describes what is going to happen and tells Ezekiel what he needs to do, but we don't see any real threats or blackmail, it is merely implied. 
As for ratings, Young Hunter has a rating of 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb. It has a rating of 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, though it's been rated by very few individuals, like maybe 6. So it looks like a fair difference in ratings between the two. I rate Young Hunter an 8 out of 10. It's not a charming film like Love, Simon or Patrick Age 1.5. But I think the tough subject matter is handled well and sometimes we need to open our eyes and see what sometimes happens in the real world. This is a story about stolen innocence. So have you seen Young Hunter? What did you think about it? Feel free to leave me a like, subscribe, comment, add me to Facebook and I hope to see you for the next review.